When I moved to the city for work a few years ago, I fell in love with a girl. I met Arya through mutual friends, and immediately sparks flew between us. We became close, and our chemistry was undeniable. I knew without a doubt that she was the one I wanted to spend my life with, so a year into our relationship, I proposed to her and she said yes. We got married a few months later and Arya and I moved into a cozy little apartment in the city. We were like any other young married couple, excited about our future together. Then Arya started hanging out with a woman called Sierra, who began filling my wife's head with strange ideas about how marriages should work. Sierra and her wife were in an open relationship, and this intrigued Arya for some reason. She began researching open marriages, listening to podcasts, and devouring articles on the topic. Then one day Arya came to me with a proposal to open up our marriage. She pointed out how well it was working for Sierra and her wife, and that it would be a fun, healthy thing for us to explore as a couple. At first I was resistant, even angry at the thought of opening up the marriage. The very idea felt like a threat to everything we had built together, but Arya kept feeding me all the pros of an open relationship and somehow convinced me to give it a go. After much discussion, we decided to give it a try for a couple months, and if either of us didn't like it, we'd close the marriage back up. We set ground rules, the most crucial being that we would always use protection and never stay out all night with someone else. We both created online dating profiles and the adventure began. We soon scheduled our first dates with other people. Aria met Luke off Tinder. I, on the other hand, went out with a girl named Alyssa who I met off Tinder as well. I went to coffee with Alyssa and it was an absolute freaking disaster. She looked nothing like her profile pictures. She was fat and miserable with a bad attitude. I made up an excuse to leave after 20 minutes. When Aria came back from her date, she was energized and excited. I guessed her date with Luke went a lot better than mine. She was keen to discuss our dates and she laughed when I told her I got catfished. Aria said she had a great time with Luke and they even shared a kiss at the end of the date and they'd scheduled another one in a few days' time. The jealousy and insecurity began to gnaw at me. My wife went on her second date with Luke and they had sex. I told her I didn't want her to share details with me. It made me feel awful but the experience made her crazy horny and we had the wildest sex since we'd first started seeing each other. So, that was a bonus, I guess. In the next few days, Arya connected with a couple other guys who she was going to meet up with. Meanwhile, I was having difficulty getting even a single match on the dating apps, and the girls I did match with just wanted me to follow them on social media or join up to their OnlyFans. Arya continued pushing the boundaries of our agreement, going on more dates with Luke and other people. I tried my best to keep an open mind, but it was becoming increasingly difficult. My jealousy was a constant companion, and I was feeling insecure. I really regretted agreeing to the whole thing. I decided I was going to ask Arya to close our marriage again and make it exclusive between the both of us again. She was back out on a date with that Luke guy, and I texted her to see when she'd be back. I didn't get a reply. My wife didn't come home that night. She broke one of our agreed-upon boundaries by staying with Luke the entire night. I felt hurt, neglected, and angry. I tried to communicate my feelings, but Arya dismissed me insisting that I needed to be more open-minded. Then came the day of our second wedding anniversary. I planned on surprising my wife and taking her to her favorite restaurant. I came home from work and she was in a nice dress, ready to go out. I asked how she knew I was taking her out, and she looked confused and laughed, saying she was going out with Luke. I told her, no, she isn't. It's our wedding anniversary. She looked shocked and was super apologetic and said she'd totally forgotten what day it was. I was annoyed she had forgotten and said it was fine. Just call Luke and arrange another time with him and we'll go to the restaurant. Arya didn't want to cancel her date with Luke. She said he'd gotten VIP tickets for a concert, and they were really expensive and non-refundable, and asked if we could celebrate our anniversary the next day. Something in me just broke at that moment and I snapped. I told Arya that I wanted to end our marriage. Arya's disregard for my emotions left me feeling like there was no other option. Arya must have realized the gravity of the situation because she backpedaled and said she'd cancel her date with Luke and said if I was that upset about everything, then we should close the marriage and focus on each other. But it was too late for me. The whole dynamic of our marriage had shifted. The next day I filed for divorce. I didn't see a way of salvaging our marriage and going back to the way things were. In the six-week period that our marriage was open, Arya had been with seven different partners, including Sierra and her wife. 
I was pissed I wasn't included in that experience, and I found out much later that was the night Arya didn't come home. When she told me, I said I thought she was with Luke that night, and she said, yeah, he was there too. That was a low blow. She knew I hadn't had any luck with getting a single date after the fat catfish, and she'd invited a guy she'd just met to come with her and participate in an orgy instead of her own husband. It was a stark reminder of how far we had drifted apart, and it made me realize that our relationship was beyond repair. Arya's parents sided with me. They had difficulty understanding their daughter's decisions and told her it was her own fault the marriage fell apart. Arya did her best to save our marriage and promised to be fully exclusive, go to couples counseling, let me sleep with anyone I wanted at any time while she stayed faithful. She admitted to being selfish and thinking of only herself, but the damage was done. It was too late. Arya and I finalized our divorce. I moved into a new apartment and she moved back in with her folks. Last I heard, she continued her open relationship with Luke. Our paths had diverged and we both moved forward with our lives. Oh, and I found out recently that Sierra and her wife got a divorce too, for pretty much the same reasons. They couldn't cope with the jealousy and pressure of an open marriage. So if there's anyone out there thinking of opening up your marriage, just don't. It's shit. It doesn't work. If your partner suggests it, keep an eye on them. It's likely they'll make it open, whether you realize it's happening or not. Anyway, that's been my experience. Thanks for listening.